We're about to review Someone Great by Jennifer Robinson. Someone Great is directed by Jennifer Robinson. The plot of this movie is uh, a girl breaks up with her boyfriend of nine years, uh, and she gets together with her two friends and tries to get over this breakup or maybe get back together with him. So the feel and the tone of the movie is kind of sad because she just broke up with her boyfriend, and it's also kind of crazy. It's a crazy day in the life of this girl, which is kind of the whole feel and the tone of the movie is this craziness. <laughs> Uh, what I picked up on was that it was a uh, it was a lot of depression and a lot of um, crazy youthfulness kind of it was in, in every scene there was lots of that a lot of a lot of uh, just do whatever you feel like sort of tone and that's what I thought. The acting in this movie I thought was okay. I thought the characters did a fine job at portraying the roles that they were supposed to be portraying. But I thought the characters in the movie that they were supposed to be portraying were not really all that great, in my opinion. I didn't think that there was anything great for them to portray, so then it was kind of hard for the actors to really be good because the roles they were portraying weren't super great. I thought the acting in this movie was, it, it struggled, I thought. I thought that uh, the characters they were given especially were quite shallow, and, and, it, and ultimately it came out in the movie. Um, I didn't think there was anything spectacular. It was at times it was even hard to watch because of the, uh, the characters that they were portraying themselves, as well as uh, what they were trying to accomplish in their roles. And so that leads into the direction of the script. Uh, I personally did not think the direction of the script was very good at all. I thought it was kind of a whole bunch of nothing, kind of touching back to what Jordan said, that the characters were kind of a little shallow, so then it was kind of just a whole bunch of nothing going on, and so I didn't really think the direction of the script was all that great. And then also this was advertised as a romance movie, and I do not think this is a romance movie. So obviously we're reviewing it based on what we thought of the movie, not particularly as a romance movie, but as a romance movie, I thought it failed to be a romance movie. Uh, I thought the direction of the script was, it was, I thought that it was, overall it was not great, but it might have been the most redeeming quality of the movie, I thought. I thought that the way that they, they showed some sort of flashback scenes and then back into the present was kind of some clever work, but I think that ultimately where it went was kind of nowhere, and even the lessons that they learned along the way were kind of nothing. Uh, kind of rough. The cinematography in this movie, I thought it was fine cinematography. There was nothing really all that great in my opinion, but there was nothing bad. I thought it was just kind of a typical movie cinematography. Yeah, I thought it was pretty, the scenery was uh, pretty good. I thought they did a pretty good job in that area, and there was nothing too special uh, to show as far as the cinematography. Like I said, the flashback scenes were done pretty well, but there was nothing spectacular to, to show in this movie, so I thought it was pretty standard. Yeah, I think the flashback scenes were probably the best part of the cinematography in this movie. Yeah. And then the music, I think the most important part of a romance movie is the music. And even though this wasn't really a romance movie, I thought the music was spot on. I thought the music was fantastic. That was the best part of this movie was the music. Because I think that's really important in movies like this. So I thought they did a great job. I agree there. It is. It's got to pull on your heartstrings and make you cry. Uh, they didn't quite make me cry. So uh, the, the, the music was good, though. The music was there. I thought it was, it was fitting for the movie, but uh, could have been complimented by, uh, by the rest. And the pacing. I thought the pacing was okay. Like I kind of said about the direction of the script, it's kind of a whole lot of nothing that's going on. And so the pacing wasn't great, but there was nothing that was super duper low in it. It was all just kind of... A standard kind of slower pace but not so slow that you're completely unintrigued yeah I think uh, I think it was it's tough to find the pacing too and it was hard to understand where they were trying to go with it as we mm -hmm. said in the direction of the script um, it seemed more as if it was a kind of a comedy in the end and it wasn't as much of a romance mm -hmm. movie so the pacing felt like a what's well, where's the romance I'm missing it yeah. this just seems like a bunch of crazy friends doing whatever the heck they want so I, I, I felt like it was a, a bit rough in that department as well the dialogue and the script. I think for 
a romance movie that it was saying that it was going to be. The dialogue was extremely inappropriate. I think like we were saying earlier, it's more of a comedy movie, so I think it would be fitting for a comedy movie. But as it was advertised as a romance movie, I thought the dialogue did not fit at all. I thought it was way too inappropriate in the wrong ways for a romance movie. Yeah, uh, man, the, the, I thought it was rough, let me tell you. <laughs> um, the it just, I mean, it was, it was, yeah, that's where it was hard to watch. I said earlier that some things were hard to watch. That, I was mostly in a fully cringed position during the movie. <laughs> um, that was, it was really, it was an assault on the eyes to, and the ears to, it was, it was pretty rough and there was not anything redeeming necessarily in the end. There was no, you know, moral that put it all together. It was a lot of just, just, just a lot of difficult stuff to get on board with. So my final grade for someone great is a D. My final grade for someone great is a D minus. Uh, ultimately for this movie we didn't think it was great so maybe while there was someone great uh, it certainly was not uh, in this movie um, we, we had a hard time watching this one uh, and, and what we don't want to do too is, is tear it down too much this was someone's project they spent a lot of time working on this um, and so great for them you know we haven't we haven't even attempted attempted something like that but uh, we thought it was it was just it didn't come together all how we wanted it to there was a lot of things that we just we, we didn't necessarily enjoy and we didn't think it was advertised as it could have been so ultimately we don't think it was great and we probably wouldn't recommend this one so that is our movie review for someone great thanks for watching